الصلاة. There is nothing that completes one's Islam after Tawheed, meaning worshipping only one Allah, as prayer does, which the Prophet peace be upon him affirmed to be the second pillar of Islam when he said, Islam is built upon five pillars, witnessing that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger and establishing the prayer. And as he also indicated in his saying, the best of actions is the prayer early in its time. Concerning prayer, he, peace and blessings be upon him, also said, the head of this affair is Islam and its support is Salah. It is a light or guidance for the one who performs it and also an expiation for one's sins as indicated by Allah's saying. And establish Salah at the two ends of the day and in some hours of the night, that is the five compulsory prayers. Verily, the good deeds remove the evil deeds. That is a reminder for the mindful. And the saying of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Don't you see that if there was a river at the door of each of you, and from this river one bathes five times daily, will there remain any dirt on him? They, the companions, may Allah be pleased with them all, replied, there will not remain any dirt on him. He, peace and blessings be upon him, said, and that is the similitude of the five daily prayers. With them, Allah expiates sins. There remains to say that prayer is an important factor that enables one to enter paradise. As the Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, when the Rabi'ah ibn Ka'b, may Allah be pleased with him, asked to be able to accompany the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, in paradise, then aid me in that by making many prostrations. Salah, according to the linguistics, means invocation. As for the scholars of Islamic jurisprudence, they said that it is the worship of Allah, the Almighty, with specific words and actions, beginning with saying Allahu Akbar and ending with saying Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. The five daily prayers are obligatory for every sane, mature Muslim, male or female, due to the saying of Allah, the Almighty, and perform salah and give zakah and bow down along with those who bow down. And the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he was asked about Islam, five salawat or prayers in the day and the night, the man asked, is there anything upon me apart from these? The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, no, except if you wish to offer non-obligatory prayers or nawafil. Similarly, there is a consensus of all the scholars that it is obligatory. As Islam stresses the importance of salah, it has ordered that its young should be taught to pray, as the Prophet, peace be upon him, told us. Command your children to perform salah at seven years of age and beat them lightly for non-compliance with it at the age of ten. As Islam is so lenient, it does not order a disbeliever to make up the prayers he did not perform before becoming a Muslim, as a person's previous sins are forgiven when he or she accepts Islam. Concerning the one who stops performing salah due to denying its obligation, the scholar stated that if he is ignorant about the issue, then he should be informed. Subsequently, if he persists on rejecting its obligation, he becomes a disbeliever, as he belies Allah Almighty, his messenger, may Allah be pleased with him, and the consensus of the Muslims. Whosoever stops performing salah intentionally out of laziness, the correct view is that he has also disbelieved. It is upon the ruler to order him to perform salah and also advise him for three days to repent for not praying. Subsequently, if he repents and turns to making salah, he is spared. But if he does not return to prayer, he faces the penalty of apostasy. This is in accordance with the Prophet, may Allah be pleased with him, statement, the covenant which is between us and them, meaning the disbelievers, is the prayer. So whoever leaves it has disbelieved. Also, he's saying, indeed, between a man and polytheism and disbelief is abandoning as-salah.